Hello and uh, <coughs> welcome to episode 6 of uh, Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV uh, Dawn Trail. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, continue this quest by, uh, well, again, speaking to uh, Wokalamp, Lamat. Can I have that uh, basket, Masanji? There you go. Thanks. Now let's see if uh, we can turn a profit. Uh, Bolnok, I'm glad we uh, found you. Are you interested in uh, making a trade? Hard promise. You? You wish to uh, do business with me? Might I ask what this is uh, all about? I see. So the goal is uh, to turn that basket of all into a jug of uh, three-year-old uh, premium uh, mescal. mescal. Then uh, allow me to uh, invest in your uh, efforts. Peace in Tyrol is uh, what allows me uh, to uh, cross freely into the lands of my uh, suppliers. Naturally, I would prefer that one uh, pledge to uh, preserve that peace uh, win the throne. Thus do I uh, humbly offer you, uh, you this uh, wool poncho, a small token that I pray uh, contributes to your uh, victory. Oh, that's fine craftsmanship. A garment like that would uh, easily fetch uh, five uh, pel in the hundreds column. That's very generous, uh, Bolnok. Thank you. I promise I won't let you down. I have every faith in you, uh, third promise. May fortune bless your uh, future, future dealings. I can't believe you uh, quintupled your uh, investment with your uh, first deal. We're off to, uh, uh, to a spectacular start. Only because uh, Amazonia remembered our uh, uh, weaver friend. Uh, all I did was uh, hand over the wall. That's not true. The connection you uh, built with uh, people are vital. This is one of uh, the most fundamental uh, pre precepts of uh, trading. One which you're uh, uh, instinctively uh, mastered. You, you think so? I know so. Now let's take our 500 uh, Pell Poncho. Uh, and uh, trade it for something even more valuable. Here, Amazandje, uh, you take the poncho. If I if I lost it uh, somehow, Erwin would uh, never let me uh, hit the end of it. <laughs> so freaking true. <laughs> All set. Uh, our next deal is uh, waiting to be found. Success! You traded the uh, a 100 pel basket of uh, alpaca wool for 500 pel uh, wool poncho. Wow! 
All right. Uh, level leveraging uh, connections is uh, our sound strategy, but we uh, should also uh, consider uh, supply and de demand. An individual in uh, urgent need of a good uh, poncho will uh, offer more than uh, merchants uh, simply uh, looking to stock his uh, shelves. That makes sense. But how do we uh, know if uh, someone needs a poncho? <laughs> they have a fabulous sense of style. Uh, they aren't wearing one. Let's see here. So he got a poncho. He doesn't. And uh, looks like most people around here have a poncho. Uh, they aren't wearing one. They have a fabulous sense of style. Let's go with that one. That's the obvious answer, isn't it? Uh, we look for a person without a poncho and I uh, hope they are uh, eager to buy ours. Yes, there's, uh, there you go. Uh, we find the demand for our supply. So where should we uh, begin our search for uh, prospective buyers? Uh, there are any, uh, there are any number of uh, places, but we could do more uh do we could do worse than uh, starting right here at the inn uh there might be uh interest interested travelers hmm who here needs a poncho a lot of uh mamolia uh hardly wear anything to uh begin with those are uh, probably uh, land guard uh, or uh, sell swords uh, Mamolia uh, who are uh, soldier for a uh, living prefer not to uh, wear much uh, above their waist it uh, hampers their uh, movements so even if they uh, have bored uh, bared shoulders Mamulja uh, carrying armor can uh, be stuck of uh, struck of the list. Let's try him. Uh, that Mamolja is armed. Uh, could be a uh, Dopro career. I've seen them uh, flying their uh, vibrators, and those uh, types aren't fond of uh, excessive uh, clothing either. All right. Uh, He got one already, so let's uh, try two. Uh, that's a land guard, okay. Well, I guess it's this one. This one already fully dressed. Alright. Um, 
artisan or a peddler perhaps come to rest uh, after visiting uh, Washun Pelo like uh, Bonnot uh, would be uh, my guess alright let's uh, try you two then let's see uh, no coat or cloak but also uh, no weapon Oh, we might have a winner. Oh there, friend. Uh, you're not a uh, mercenary by trade, right? I was uh, curious about uh, your uh, bold choice of uh, dress. Or lack thereof. Oh, it was uh, no choice uh, of mine, believe me. I was uh, attacked by uh, beasts on the way here. And I uh, barely escaped with my uh, scales intact. Uh, my coat was uh, not so lucky. Uh, I'm actually uh, uh, a, tool, a tool maker uh, from uh, Toliola and was uh, dressed quite uh, smartly. All the better uh, to show the Pelu I'm a man who takes pride in his appearance and uh, therefore his. Uh, work as well but now look at me well sir this is your lucky day god damn those underarms what a splendid poncho this uh this would be uh the perfect replacement uh, for the coat i i lost uh we'd be uh willing to uh part part with it if uh, you'd like to uh, make a trade for one or uh, for one of our fine tools perhaps uh, what about this hatchet I crafted it myself and uh, will watch for its quality the blade looks sharp the the haft well made. I'd value it uh, at one pal in the thousands column. Oh, from 500 to a uh, thousand? Uh, we have a deal. Wonderful. A fine garment uh, such as uh, this should put uh, me on even, even footing with uh, any uh, pal or merchant. Uh, like the epo eponymous uh, owner of uh, Miplus Mate Garden, uh, for one. Her field uh, hands us uh, hatchets to uh, harvest the mate. Uh, and I thought uh, to impress her uh, with the tool I sold you. No matter, I have others who have wares to sell. Let them have. Uh, glad, glad I'm to have met you. Wow. Did you hear that? Uh, we already found uh, our next buyer. The Mi Plus uh, Mate Garden we go. Yes, but it's a uh, fair distance uh, on foot. We should take, uh, an, take uh, alpacas. Uh, these ones will be uh, corn type, right? <laughs> oh, that helps a lot. Shrugging. All right. Success. You traded a uh, 500 uh, pel of wool uh, poncho for a thousand pel uh, hatchet. All right, so I grab a different mount this time. Oh, I don't need to go that far. Well done, recognizing uh, that uh, toolmaker as a potential customer. 
uh, if you uh, mind to change a uh, profession, uh, you'd make an excellent merchant. And uh, looks like we got some new gloves. Nice. I like those. Yeah, I'm not uh, changing that. Uh, before we get moving, uh, you should uh, be the one to hold this. Uh, with that, I suppose we should uh, hop on the alpaca. Alpacas, Moble has uh, so kindly provided. Ready to go? Let's uh, mount up. Looks like I have a dress. <laughs> I love the fact that uh, uh, what should I call it? Uh, the sword actually changes angle uh, in this game, unlike in uh, World of Warcraft. I swear that the mountain uh, is too tall to be uh, real. Uh, Warok, some more. Wasn't that the uh, name? Uh, a forbidden site, isn't it? A foreboding site, isn't it? Uh, I've never appreciated uh, appreciated up close. Uh, you have uh, to take the long way around the cliffs to get there uh, to the highlands uh, to the highlands belonging to the uh, York Hood. So Moblu, uh, you said you were uh, learning about the uh, peddler's uh, profession. You don't care uh, for rifle. No, no, I love, love it. I love uh, working with uh, alpacas. But becoming a peddler has uh, always been a dream of mine. We made it, and we found a single a smelly incident. I sent the alpacas uh, back to uh, Ikuvlos Inn, so we'll uh, walk along the main road uh, when we return to the village. Uh, speaking of uh, roads to travel, uh, you were uh, adopted by the Dawn Servant, weren't you? Pearl Promise. That I was. Then I. Per then perhaps uh, you understand. I was an orphan too, you see. Uh, Tobli took me uh, in. He took uh, in all the ranch hands, actually. All of them? Yes, and uh, everyone works uh, hard at their uh, shores. Grateful, grateful for the opportunity to uh, repay the, uh, the head ledger's uh, generosity. Yet here I am, the only one wanting to go uh, off and uh, be a merchant. I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm telling you this. Uh, we need to uh, keep trading things uh, for our saddle. Uh, if you're to uh, prepare for the heat of gold. 
as it's uh, made harvesting uh, season, as it's uh, made harvesting season, uh, they can't have too many uh, quality hatchets. Uh, add to that uh, book Lamat's uh, way with uh, people, and we should uh, have no trouble uh, making a favorable favorable deal. That's uh, Miplus herself over there. Pass that uh, hatchet to her, uh, third promise, and uh, let's uh, go to uh, board. Let's go get the bargain. All right. You have that little hatchet, uh, little axe for me. Thanks. Now to see the, uh, what we can uh, get for it. You're uh, Miplu. The owner of uh, these fields. Uh, I have a mind to uh, trade uh, if you're interested. Well, well, the third promise. I might be uh, convinced to uh, entertain a proposal. What do you have uh, on offer? Uh, this hatchet, uh, forged by a seasoned, uh, seasoned artisan, uh, the racer. A the razor edge of this uh, exceptional tool will make uh, light work uh, of your crops. Huh. The quality is acceptable, I suppose. I'll offer you a large sack of uh, uh, mate leaves in exchange. A sack of mate leaves is uh, valuable at one, one uh, pell in the thousands uh, column. The same price as a hatchet. This deal would uh, bring us uh, no closer to the uh, mescal. If I may, uh, Mistress uh, Miplu, it's uh, harvesting season, is it not? Does not uh, demand for uh, hatchets uh, afford them uh, a higher value? It is indeed a uh, season, which is why I uh, procure an uh, ample batch of uh, tools well in advance. Uh, we missed the window uh, for demand. Uh, in that case, uh, we'll have to uh, fall back on uh, connections. Think of it uh, this way. A generous uh, deal here will uh, put you in the third promise's uh, good grace. Surely that, uh, that's uh, worthy of uh, consideration. I do not wish uh, to give uh, offense, but I must uh, tell you that I stand with uh, the second promise. His uh, innovations uh, will uh, improve every aspect of our lives. I believe including uh, farming. And I will no longer have need uh, of hatchets. I assure you that I have uh, nothing to... I have nothing but respect for Vuk Lamat. That is why I'm uh, prepared to uh, purchase a spare hatchet at the fair price. I I suppose it is uh, fair given your uh, reasons. But we uh, ourselves uh, would be uh, no better off uh, for, uh, for the transaction. How about this then? Uh, if we were to uh, help bring in your harvest, would you uh, give us a better deal? As a matter of fact, I would, uh, until uh, Kuana's uh, reforms come about, 
I can uh, always uh, use more uh, hands in the field. Then you can uh, go ahead and uh, add our labor to uh, the bargain. Added value to uh, to tip uh, the scale. How would I have uh, forgotten one of the most uh, basic rules of trading? You can rest here if you like, uh, Mablu. Amasandia and I have uh, have made to gather. Oh no, I'm helping too. Off to the fields then. And uh, mind you picked uh, healthy leaves. I'll take uh, five good uh, bundles uh, from each of you. All right, I guess uh, a small uh, side quest. Alright, that was uh, pretty quick. Ah. You brought me some leaves then? Acceptable uh, harvest. Uh, we'll see how your companions uh, fared before I make uh, any decisions for them. Yeah, we brought uh, our share as well. Thank you. Uh, third promise. This is uh, more than enough uh, to hold up uh, your end of the bargain. Now, it's time uh, to honor mine. After adding the value of uh, your labor to the price of the hatchet, I'm prepared to uh, offer you a full sack of uh, our highest grade uh, mate leaves. Premium mate, uh, bought at the shop uh, one sack of uh, those leaves would uh, cost no less than uh, five hell uh, in the thousand column. Then we can uh, bid farewell uh, to this uh, hatchet. Uh, I'll give it a uh, good home. Uh, talk of the contest aside, I'm glad we have uh, could come to a uh, mutual, mutually agreeable trade. As am I. 
Uh, all the best for, uh, with the rest of your harvest. Alright, well, uh, one thing is for certain, there is a lot of talking and not much fighting, to be honest. Pablo, what's wrong? It's as I was uh, saying before, even after everything uh, Tobl has done uh, for me, I'm uh, planning to uh, abandon it all and uh, become a merchant. Uh, but then I need uh, your help after uh, forgetting a basic rule of trade. How can I expect uh, Tobli to accept my uh, decision then? Uh, have you mentioned your uh, plans to leave? Not exactly. I wanted to uh, prove I would succeed as a peddler before I decided my intentions. I see. I seek uh, to follow in my uh, father's footsteps, but not because uh, he expects it of me. Uh, I want to uh, preserve uh, Tyrol's peace and to become a dawn servant. Uh, and becoming dawn servants happens to be uh, the best way to do it. You should uh, live a life of your own uh, choosing, and I would wouldn't uh, be surprised if uh, Tobli held the same opinion. So talk to him. You're right. It's better to find uh, find out for sure then worry over what he might uh, say thank you for your your advice <laughs> but first we have a uh, saddle to buy i want that uh success uh, under my belt so i can uh, be sure of my decision uh what's next then we try to uh, trade our tea leaves uh, for something uh, halfway to uh, 10,000 pen. No, I think we've, uh, we're close enough now. I say we uh, go straight for the premium uh, Masol. Order our way into uh, double the value, eh? Think uh, you can do it? <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I will make the trade work. Uh, I, I admire you, uh, Third Promise. Uh, that you're uh, holding your own against such uh, strong co uh, competition uh, for the throne is uh, inspiring. Um, am I really holding my uh, own against uh, Koana and uh, Soral? I I mean of course I am I'm Vuk Lamat of the Dawn's uh, Promise after all alright Success! You traded a uh, thousand uh, pell hatchet for five thousand uh, pell sack of uh, top grade uh, matte leaves. Alright, uh, well, looks like we got some time left. Before we go, uh, let me uh, give you the mat leaves. I don't need to uh, risk proving uh, arrow whale points.
ready? Are we ready then? Our next stop is uh, Mescal Distillery. Can I use this yet? Ah, uh, northwest. There you are. We are going east now. I heard one over here. Ah, straight north. Southwest. Oh, there it is. See if I can uh, somehow get up there. It looks like there is. Uh, some road over here. Uh, looks like uh So for those that forgot, uh, I'm picking up these uh, so I can actually start flying. Let's see here. Uh, or gravel. That's what we're looking for. And uh, ether currents. And uh, yeah, looks like we got a uh, few places to look for and uh, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10 of these that I need to uh, pick up. Well, uh, south we can wait with. I 
actually this southwest. Oops, did not mean to do that. Let's see if it's up here somewhere. And there's another one. All right. Well. Looks like uh, these are actually pretty close together. Uh, I think it's on the other side of this mountain ridge, so yeah. Uh, let's uh, head over there. I think they have uh, changed uh, some of the iPhones. At least this one is uh, definitely changed. Actually, it's not changed, it's removed. to continue this quest in the next episode so uh thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did feel free to uh hit the like button and of course if you're new here uh first of all welcome and uh yeah if you enjoy my uh content then why don't you uh hit the subscribe button together with the notification bell you don't miss out on any of my future content. I will be uh, back again tomorrow. And until then, stay safe out there.